Okay, now we're going to look at the interest coverage ratio. Uh, the formula for interest coverage is here. It's operating profit divided by interest expense. And sometimes this is called times interest earned uh, because as you see, what it's doing is dividing earnings by interest expense to tell you how many times your earnings are above the interest obligation on any debt owed. Um, and this ratio shows, in effect, how easy it is for a company to pay the interest on their debt. So let's look at an example using Hasbro. Uh, here's Hasbro's 2018 income statement, and we can see that operating profit is $331 million, and interest expense is $91 million. So we divide operating profit by interest expense, and we get 3.6 times interest coverage. This means that Hasbro has $3.6 of operating earnings for every dollar of interest that they paid in the year. Now the question is, is that good or bad? Uh, as analysts, how do we evaluate it? Well, to evaluate an interest coverage, it's best to look at a trend over time. And when we use horizontal analysis to compare the same ratio in prior years, we can see uh, that Hasbro's ability to service its debt wa was over eight times in 2016 and also over eight times in 2017, but it declined sharply in the last year. Now, 3.6 times interest coverage is still probably acceptable, and certainly there will be some lenders who will be less inclined to lend money to Hasbro today than they were in the past, uh, but clearly the coverage uh, needs to be greater than one, and interest coverage ratios uh, lower than two could be problematic, especially if there's any inconsistency in the earnings. Many lenders will not lend to companies below two. Right now, uh, Hasbro's probably uh, still okay, but they need to show that they can increase their earnings or pay down some of their debt over the long term.